All right, so here we are with the Creality dog. This dog comes as a test print G code on many Creality 3D printers. It does not come as an STL, it comes as a G code, which means it's already sliced how they want it for your machine. This here is the same Creality dog, but as an STL file, which we will then slice ourselves. If you'd like, I have provided this file on the course and you can work along with me. We've uploaded the file to Cura, and here it is sitting on an approximation of our 3D printer's bed. This right here represents the corner, and these colors represent the axis. So we click on the model. The first thing you're gonna notice is these colors right here on the model. Blue being up, red being left to right, green being front to back. And you'll notice they coincide with the adjustments shown here on the left side of the screen. These three features right here are very important. Sometimes you will import a model into Cura and it'll look like this. Sometimes users are very confused and they're like, I don't understand. It's so hard to print the way it imports into Cura. I need you to understand that Cura does not orientate your model. You do, okay? It's your G code. It's your printer, it's your model. You print it how you want to. So the first thing we need to do is get this sucker on the print bed because 3D printers print from the bed up in flat layers, building one upon another. We wanna get the flat surface of this model on the print bed. I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way to do it. Click on the model. Click on Rotate, click on Select Face to Align to Build Plate, and click on this flat portion of your doggy. <gasps> Look at that. It put him right on the print bed. But you'll notice he's kind of off to the side and cockeyed. So we'll go over here and highlight Move, and these are his coordinates. If you just want him centered, erase them and press 0. There you have it, he's now in the center of the bed. If you want to go ahead and move him some more, you can click on him and choose a rotate. And now you'll see this globe right here. This will allow you to rotate the model this way. And then of course, this way. And this way. You can always hold Control Z to undo whatever you just did. So let's say he's right here and we want him to face to the right. We will use the blue axis right here. We can do a 90 degree turn by simply clicking that arrow. We can go the other way by clicking the other arrow. But if we wanted to rotate him on our own, we click and hold and we just turn like this very important to see the number. See it's 90 degree. Now you know he's fully turned 90 degree perfectly to that side. Same with the other way, 90 degree. You know he's perfect. He's facing perfectly to that side. If you want a different angle, you can do it right here. One thing you may notice is he's rotating in increments of 15 degrees. What if you don't want that? Maybe you want an increment of five degrees or four degrees. You're gonna go right here to this menu and click on snap rotation. You'll see it's not checked. By not checking it means he will rotate freely as you want him to. With snap rotation turned on, he will snap to 15 degrees at a time. So many times you will want to work without snap rotation so you can make microscopic adjustments to get him exactly as you want. This is quite useful if there's a model that isn't sitting quite level on the bed and you want to use a touch of rotation to fix that. Let's have a look at these colors. Yellow is the color of your model. If it's a solid yellow, that means he fits on the bed. If it's a striped yellow, that means he does not fit on the bed. So you will want to adjust him so that he does fit on the bed. If he's too far orientated off the bed, you'll see that he can't be printed, so it represents him in this color. 
if he's too large. I mean, just he's just a big, big, big puppy, and he don't fit on the print bed. You'll see they orientate him in this color. Notice blue represents below the bed. You'll see your model has three colors, yellow, red, and blue. You'll see light blue and dark blue. Yellow means your model is within the printable area and should successfully be printed. Red represents an overhang based on your current supports overhang settings. Blue represents contact with the bed or contact below the bed. Light blue represents contact with the bed. Dark blue represents contact under the bed. So let's take a look underneath him and pick him up. You see he now turns red. Now he represents an overhang because the model is not contacting the bed. But if we drag him down, you'll notice he's now below the bed and that's represented by blue coloring. This blue is below the bed. If you were to slice and print him like this, this is how he'd print. The first layer would start right here. So to get him level with the bed, we go to our Z right here, which is minus five. Now we do zero, and now he is flush with the bed, and that's represented by this light blue shading. So that's the basics of how the color shading of your model works.